You are now in the Crazy Hills Galaxy. Enjoy the wild ride. You are now in the Crazy Galaxy. WWE Battleground WWE Championship match. We had a triple threat match with the former Shield Brotherins with the champion Dean Ambrose, the lunatic French from the Ambrose Asylum versus the architect Seth Rollins and Roman Reigns, the leader of the Roman Empire, who got massively booed when he came out and when he got introduced in the match, he constantly was getting booed during the match when he was doing stuff and he would be more, getting momentum him and it looked like he might win he was getting booed out the building it was just like wow the crowd and the WWE Universe has turned on Roman Reigns uh, it was vicious the match was brutal uh, at one point Roman Reigns got double teamed by Dean and Seth when Ro after Roman had mounted quite the offense um, beating them both down they did a double power bomb to him through an announce table the Spanish announce table that is then Seth Rollins quickly turned on Dean and Bros hit him with a chair in the back and then he went and he hit Roman Reigns in the back with the chair and they went in the ring Raw uh, Seth went for uh, pedigree but Dean ended up trying to reverse out of it he got buckle bombed from what I remember by uh, you know and then he ended up going and hitting a pedigree on Roman or he, Roman tried to he tried to get a pedigree on to uh, Roman and then he buckle bombed him uh, it was just all kinds of craziness a lot of stuff happened uh, Roman Reigns ends up after he got buckle bombed he ends up popping out of the corner doing a Superman punch to Ro to Seth Rollins then he ends up uh, spearing Seth Rollins, and then Dean Ambrose comes in, pushes uh, Seth Roman off of Dean, and then Dean Ambrose hits the dirty deeds for the one, two, three. Dean Ambrose remains the WWE World Heavyweight Champion at WWE's Battleground 2016 in Washington, D.C., and it was an epic match, an awesome triple threat. That really uh, was just amazing, awesome match. Uh, and afterwards, uh, Raw at Dino, uh, Daniel Bryan and Shane McMahon were celebrating like crazy, running around in circles around the ring, jumping up and down. They called out to further roster to come out, and they all celebrated with uh, Dean Ambrose picking them up on their shoulders. The Usos lifted Dean Ambrose up high on the shoulders above everybody, and everybody was celebrating, pumping their, doing fist pumps and everything, clapping and celebrating. And it is pretty wild that Roman Reigns' cousins, the Usos, were the ones to hoist Dean Ambrose up high uh, with the WWE World Heavyweight Championship. And it was awesome. A very awesome moment. I, I was worried for a moment that Roman Reigns was going to get the championship back. I, I would have been shocked. I would have been like, wow. That, that it would have just been like, I don't, I can't even tell you how pissed I would have been if Roman won. It didn't happen, so I don't have to tell you how pissed I would have been. So, Dean Ambrose is our lunatic champion, and he is the champion of WWE and the universe and over the galaxy, and he is going to be bringing the championship home to SmackDown Live. And it'll be interesting to see what happens tomorrow night on Monday Night Raw. Will Steph McMahon say we are going to be, uh, you know, having a tournament or a battle royal, or like a King of the Ring type of tournament thing, where we crown a new champion at SummerSlam, or is she going to try to get Shane McMahon and Daniel Bryan to let her pick out Daniel, uh, Dean Ambrose's opponent for SummerSlam 2016 to uh, for, you know, a SmackDown vs. Raw uh, main event for the championship, or will we just move on and uh, get Raw to have their own championship, which I think they should. Leave me a comment down below with your thoughts and opinions. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe. What's up, Big Doug? Jimmy? Who do you want? You. Interesting. You want to see it be a triple threat with Brock Lesnar, Randy Orton, and Dean Ambrose? I really don't think that would happen.